Good morning, guys. So thyroid cancer is treatable and death rates among this cancer remain low in comparison to other cancers. But the scary thing is how much more frequently it's being diagnosed. For eight years, Mitzi McCabe, now 48, felt like she had the flu all the time. She had no energy and had trouble breathing. Doctors discovered she had low thyroid levels. She was treated with steroids and gained 120 pounds over four years. Then a potentially deadly discovery. They removed both lobes of the thyroid plus a uh, two nodules off of my thyroid. One of them had uh, was malignant, had uh, cancer in it, and then they removed two parathyroid glands. We're seeing thyroid cancer in younger patients than what we typically think of when we think about cancer. Researchers say that obesity and environmental exposure to radiation as a child, as well as flame retardants in household objects, may be to blame for the increase. After surgery, Mitzi was treated with iodine-131, a radioactive isotope in pill form, which kills any cancer cells left behind after surgery. But she had to be isolated. I was radioactive for five days. <laughs> She's done great. Her treatment went uh, perfectly. I feel 10 times better than I did. I feel so much better than I did before. Now Mitzi is losing weight and happy to be active again. According to the American Cancer Society, symptoms of thyroid cancer include a lump or swelling in the neck, sometimes growing quickly, hoarseness or other voice changes that do not go away, and trouble swallowing. Many of these symptoms can also be caused by non-cancerous conditions or even be signs of other cancers of the neck. Lumps in the thyroid are common and are usually benign. Still, if you have any of these symptoms, it's important to see your doctor right away. And I mean, there's, you know, trouble swallowing, trouble breathing, like Mitzi said, um, you might kind of dismiss it for a while, but right. certainly symptoms that you want to disclose to your doctor. Don't let it go. Yeah.